This video will show you how to properly administer your subcutaneous immunoglobulin, also called SCIG, by a Freedom 60 syringe pump. Please follow all instructions shown in this video. Administering medications at home can be safe and easy. Your home health nurse will be available to instruct you on the procedure until you can independently administer your SCIG. Please begin by preparing your work surface by cleaning the area thoroughly with soap and water or a disinfectant wipe and dry as well. Wash your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds and then dry your hands. Use a separate towel to turn the faucet off. On your SCIG placemat, gather your immunoglobulin vials, antiseptic wipes, transfer devices, 50 milliliter syringe, precision tubing, needle set tubing with transparent dressing, and Freedom 60 pump as shown. After verifying that your precision tubing is the correct rate of infusion on your medication label, Remove it from the packaging. Next, verify that your needle set tubing has the correct number of needle sites as instructed by your medication label. Remove it from the packaging. Remove the protective caps from your immunoglobulin vials and wipe the top of each vial vigorously for 30 seconds with an antiseptic wipe and allow to dry. Repeat with each vial. Open the packages containing the transfer devices. Insert a transfer device into each medication vial. Be careful to not touch the device spike. Repeat with each transfer spike. Open the package containing the 50 milliliter syringe. Twist the cap off the first transfer device. And screw the syringe onto the device. And withdraw the medication from the vial. Repeat for each vial. Connect the tubing to the syringe with the disc closest to the syringe, like this. Connect it to the precision tubing like this. Next, you will put the syringe in the pump. Start by making sure the pump is turned off. Turn the knob clockwise to move the black tab to the end of the pump. Place the syringe in the pump, like this. You may need to turn the syringe to put it in the pump with the volume marks facing up. Make sure the precision tubing disc is seated in the nose of the pump. While holding the syringe in place, turn the pump on. Continue to hold the syringe in place until the black tab clicks into place. The black tab will push the plunger of the syringe to prime the tubing with medication. Dry priming is recommended to avoid site irritation. Closely watch the tubing to not prime to the needle, leaving one inch of air in the tubing closest to the needles. Once the pump is primed, clamp the precision tubing, then turn the pump off. After picking a site as instructed by your home nurse, prepare your skin with an antiseptic wipe. and allow the skin to dry. Remove the needle guards. And then pinch your skin without touching the insertion site. And insert the needle at a 90 degree angle into your skin. The tip of the needle will be in your fatty tissue. Some SCIG medication brands recommend checking for blood return before infusion. Ask your nurse if your medication requires this step. 
Then apply the transparent dressing over the needle like this. Repeat for each site required for your infusion. Unclamp the line before turning on the pump to start your infusion. The pump will infuse your SCIG dose and you will know when the infusion is complete when the syringe is empty. When your infusion is complete, you will need to wash your hands with soap and water thoroughly for at least 20 seconds and then dry your hands. Use a separate towel to turn the faucet off. Turn the pump off and clamp the tubing like this. To remove the syringe from the pump, you will need to turn the knob clockwise to move the black tab to the end of the pump. Push the syringe into the pump like this, then lift it out of the pump. If you tend to have leaking at your insertion sites, let the needles remain in for five minutes once infusion has stopped to reduce leaking. To remove the needle sets, start by removing the transparent dressing from your skin. Then remove the needle set by holding your skin firmly and pulling the needles straight out in a steady motion. Apply a small dressing or band-aid to your insertion site. Repeat for each site. You will need to remove the needle set from the other supplies by unscrewing it from the precision tubing so the needles can be disposed of in the sharps container provided by your pharmacy. The precision tubing and syringe can be double bagged and disposed of with your household garbage. Proper administration of your SCIG at home is important to your safety. Please call your pharmacy if you have any questions or concerns while administering your medication. The symptom management tool in the home SCIG patient brochure you received at the beginning of your home SCIG therapy will assist you in managing any symptoms you may have. We are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. In the event of an emergency, always call 911. The symptom management tool in your patient brochure looks like this. Always call 911 for allergic reactions to your SCIG and for any emergency.